Welcome to this final lesson on desktop UI automation in LeapWork. In this lesson, we'll look more into working with multiple applications in a flow. In the previous lesson, we saw how easy it was to move between applications, for example, opening the LeapWork demo application, clicking an email link, and continuing the flow in Outlook. The reason it's simple is that LeapWork always operates on the active window. If our flow starts in one window, then opens the next window or application, and then finishes the flow, it's very straightforward and intuitive. But what if we want to start at application A, then move to application B, and then go back to application A again, maybe to read or write some data to or from application B, and then go back to application B again. This could happen a number of times. Well, then we need to control which window is the active part of the flow, and this is what we'll look at right now. In the LeapWork demo application, we want to read all the mail addresses from the contact persons and write it into a notepad document, one mail at a time. This means that we'll need to move the focus or the active window between the demo application and the notepad window where we'll write the emails into. We start out with opening the demo application and doing the normal login. Then we'll add yet another start application building block. And specify notepad dot exa. Notepad is in the system path in Windows, so it's enough to just specify the name of the exa file. Let's run this simple flow. To find the email addresses, we will add a find UI element block. which we've seen in the previous lessons. Notepad is the active window at this stage of the flow because it opened as the last window. So we'll need to tell the flow to activate the demo application window before executing the find UI element block. Otherwise, it'll try to find the list of email addresses in the Notepad application. To activate a specific window, we'll add a use UI window block. This block is used for setting focus in the right window at the right time. In this case, we want to set the focus in the demo application. So we click capture and select the demo application window. Pretty simple. With the focus now back in the demo application, we can now capture the email address. I will now open the strategy editor to change the conditions to match all contact persons. So edit element. I'll choose the second strategy. And instead of having child number one, which reflects the first contact person, I will choose any child. Click validate. And now I can verify that I now have a strategy that will locate all 47 valid email addresses in the contact base. So I click Save. I will select all in the user current section. This way, the find UI element will iterate its way through all the email addresses. I'll add a get UI text block to the found element to extract the email address from the individual contact persons. The get UI text block will give us the email address as a text that we can paste into the notepad document. To paste it in, we need to set focus into the notepad application again. So we'll add another use UI 
window block. We could have used the same approach and simply just captured the notepad window, but for the sake of this demonstration, I'll use the element option in the use UI window block. In order to use this, we can connect any element that is part of the window we want to activate to the source element property. This means that if we had used a find UI element to capture a button or a similar in the notepad application, we could have connected this element to the property. In this case, we can use the window property on the start application building block that was used when Notepad was started, like so. With the focus back in Notepad, we can now use a type text. To simply insert the text, followed by a line break, hitting the enter key to do this. We connect the text found into the field in the type text building block, which will automatically generate a new field that we can use in the text value field. So inserting the field and then follow we using the capture to replicate a hit on the enter button, switch capture up again. The last thing we want to do in this building block is to set the speed to fast to speed up the process. So just to summarize before we run the entire case, we open the demo application, followed by opening a notepad document. We then set focus back into the demo application using a use UI window, and then use a find UI element to iterate all the contact persons. For each iteration, we read the email address, set focus back into Notepad, and insert the email address. The last thing I need to do is to complete the flow by setting the pass block next to the completed block, which will then be triggered when the find your element has successfully found all email addresses. Let's close the open applications and run the flow from the start. As we can see, the email addresses are added to the notepad document one by one. In this video, we looked at how you can use the U use UI window block to control which window is the active window at any given time. This is important because LeapWork will always trigger the building block on the active window. We saw how we moved between the LeapWork demo application and a notepad document, reading email addresses from the demo application and inserting them into the notepad document one by one. This concludes this case.